Okay, so what I'm going to do is we've built Zinc's um, electron diagram. Is everybody okay with that, right? So here's Zinc's electron diagram. What we're going to learn now is which electrons are removed when you're making ions, okay? So remember what chromium and copper did where they took that S electron and moved it up into the Ds to make it more stable, the atom itself more stable? Well, in fact, there's a reason for that, because the d orbitals, once they're filled, they become inner electrons. And you guys know that from calculating inner electrons, okay? So what you'll find is zinc has a, uh, an ion um, that uh, we've used quite a bit in lab already. It's the zinc 2 plus ion. Okay, and why it's two plus, um, or it makes sense why it's two plus, okay? Because once the three D orbitals, like we're saying, are filled up, they actually become inner electrons, okay? So once all this is filled up, the 4s orbital actually becomes higher in energy than the three D orbitals, okay? So, what happens is when we make the zinc 2 plus ion, the electrons that are being removed are not the 3D electrons, not this electron and this electron, but they're actually the 4S electrons, okay? So the S electrons are removed before the D electrons if you're filled up, okay? If you're filled up D-wise, okay? So if I wanted to draw the electron configuration, of zinc 2 plus, it would be something like this. And again, some people would rather you put the 4s up here. Since you guys are in gen chem, we're just going to deal with it being the same way we just know that the 4s are in. Okay? And this is not a rule I made up to make it harder on you guys. This is the way atoms behave, okay? Okay, so we fill up exactly the same way. Oh. Although that would have been okay if the number <coughs> went in first. that we lost, right? Like that. That's what the zinc 2 plus ion looks like. Okay? So again, once the D shell is filled up, okay, it becomes more, um, or the D subshell fills up, it becomes more stable than the S previous to it. Okay? 